Hello and well, welcome to Asian Samoy. Today we're covering the intense situation unfolding in Kenya, where nationwide protests against proposed tax hikes have escalated into violent confrontations. <laughs> Kenya is currently facing widespread protests due to proposed tax hikes. Like these protests, known as the Seven Days of Rage, culminated in a total shutdown on Tuesday, which quickly turned violent. Tragically, at least five people have lost their lives and around 31 others have been injured. The violence escalated when Kenyan police fired live rounds at demonstrators in Nairobi. Our sources also witnessed police beating and arresting paramedics who were assisting injured protesters. The main cause of these protests is the Finance Bill 2024. Initially, the bill proposed several tax increases, including a 16% value-added tax on bread and taxes on motor vehicles, vegetable oil, and mobile money transfers. Last week, the government scrapped some of these tax increases after public outcry. I am very proud of our young people. They have stepped forward. In response to the protest, President William Ruto addressed the nation, stating that the security of families and property is his top priority. He described Tuesday's events as a critical turning point and claimed that the protests were infiltrated by organized criminals. The protests have caused significant damage and injuries. The Kenya Red Cross reported attacks on its vehicles and injuries to its staff and volunteers. Vehicles parked at Kenya Supreme Court were set on fire and Kenya's parliament building in Nairobi's city hall were also targeted by protesters. The protests have also led to major internet disruptions. Netblocks reported significant connectivity issues in Kenya, which also affected neighboring countries like Burundi, Uganda, and Rwanda, and Rwanda. To control the situation, Kenya's military has been deployed to support the police. Opposition leader Raila Odinga has called for an end to the violence, urging the government to stop its aggressive actions against citizens. Several international ambassadors, the U.S. State Department and the U.N. Secretary General have expressed deep concern and called for restraint from Kenya's police and security forces. Stay tuned to Asian Samoy for more updates on this developing story. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for the latest news.